Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about ultrasonic sensors, in this case the HC SR04 ultrasonic sensor. It's an ultrasonic distance sensor that uses sound waves to measure distances. It consists of two main parts, the transmitter and the receiver, as you can see here, looks like robot eyes. So the transmitter would send pulses, ultrasonic pulses at 40 kilohertz and the receiver, it would detect them and it would measure the distance based on the time delay. It operates on 5 volts and measures distances between 2 centimeters and 400 centimeters, 4 meters. Honestly, I haven't used it for such big distances, but yeah, good to know. It measures at an angle of 15 degrees. Given that the voltage is 5 volts, the operational voltage of the ESP32 is 3.3. Uh, I had to use a voltage divider. I'll show that in a bit on the schematic. As you can see here, it comes with 4 pins. VCC, Trig, Echo and ground. So now that we understand a few basic things about the ultrasonic sensor, let's check it out in this small project I prepared for the purpose of this video. So we have the ultrasonic sensor, an ESP32, and this is an overkill for this project, it's the ESP32 S3. Uh, we have the voltage divider here. Sorry if the cable is blocking the view, I didn't notice. I have the voltage divider. And basically what this does is we've mapped some positions. Uh, some we've, we've mapped some positions of the servo to distances to the ultrasonic sensor. So, so as you can see, if we move closer to the ultrasonic sensor, the servo motor would move. The, the servo is a bit jittery because it's a cheap AliExpress servo. Uh, this is just one simple example. Uh, let's take a look at the code in case you want to use it in your projects. Let's take a look at the code. Uh, we have the trig pin echo servo pin defined. The trig would send uh, signal to the trigger to trigger the ultrasonic sensor. The echo would receive the signal after it bounces off an object. And the uh, servo pin would uh, control the servo motor. The setup function initializes the serial monitor so we can monitor the distance of uh, the object to the sensor in relation to the sensor. We set up the trig as an output and the echo as an input. The get distance function, it will send the 10 microsecond pulses to the trig pin to trigger the sensor. And we get the pulse in, we use the pulse in to measure the time it, it's taken for the echo to return. Uh, the, we use the formula of distance equals duration multiplied by 0 0.034 divided by 2 and it would return the calculated distance value. Get distance to measure the current distance. We print distance values to the serial monitor. It's always good to have the serial monitor running to check if your program is running or not. And we limit the distance between 2 centimeters and 50 centimeters uh, for servo stability because these servos are so jittery. Even though we limit it, it still, still behaves weirdly. And we map the distance from 2 centimeters to 50 centimeters to the servo angle 0 to 180 or 180 to 0. And the servo would move according to 
the distance, we added 100 milliseconds delay before the next measurement. Ew, but Sooty, I don't have any SP for the zoo. Calm down. You can actually use other ICs to control it, like the 555 timer to control this. I actually tried to get it, get it to work, but life is too short to mess around with the 555 timer. I used it, I tried it in A stable and mono stable modes, but I did not get any success. You might find some tutorials on it. I spent like two or three hours messing around with the 555 IC. But yeah, you can, you can do it if you try probably. And now you can take a look at the schematic of this project if you would like to use it. The ultrasonic sensors are used in many applications, including obstacle detections for robots, uh, parking sensors, you know, where you back up your car and it beeps on the dashboard, maybe security systems like detecting movements and triggering alarms, etc. This little guy is affordable and easy to use. It has decent accuracy for basic projects. It has a few disadvantages. It will need a flat surface. I noticed when you use like a curved surface, like a hand or soft object, it wouldn't get accurate readings. And yeah, it requires the five volt logic. That's why we use the level shifter. Uh, we use the, whatchamacallit, the voltage divider on the breadboard. But yeah, for, for the low, low price of $1 or $2, you can get yourself one of these. And use it in your projects. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.